Cook, congratulations to Xavier. They played a great game tonight. They deserved to win. We got outplayed, outcoached in every facet of the game. Not a whole lot to talk about the way I see it. Pretty self-explanatory if you were here tonight. Nick, um, you've always prided yourself on defense since you've been here. How were they able to get so many open looks tonight in defense? Uh, they, obviously, they made some shots that they don't normally make. But uh, that being said, I give them all the credit. We're not good enough right now. We're not tough enough. That's just the facts of life. So. You're correct. Winning teams hang your hat on defense, period. You don't defend, you're not going to win. Nick, uh, SK had maybe like three points. Were they doing anything in particular against him defensively? Were, you know, they were just denying him the ball, keep making things tougher on him in any way? Uh, like I would just say this. They did a great job. They deserved to win. They didn't do anything that we weren't prepared for. They just did. They just outplayed us. Do you worry at all that you don't have a, a viable second option to help take some of the pressure off of the pass game? Uh, I worry that our passing is terrible. I worry that right now that uh, we are not tough enough to to uh, play well. We didn't meet the challenge physically. We walked into a street fight with a pink outfit on. That's the best way I can describe it to you. You know, you get into the technicalities of our team. No, I, 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 don't, I don't think talent in the long term with our team is an issue. Of, which I thought, I think SK would tell you that he was the problem tonight, not his teammates. His passing, his missed free throws, his lack of passing, his four turnovers. I got to do a better job coaching him. We prepared all week on what, what they were going to do against him. It wasn't a surprise. When he got off the ball, we, got, we had good things going when he got off the ball. When he dominated the ball too much, we really struggled. For instance, he made a great move down the lane instead of just giving it to Titus Rubles. Titus Rubles for a layup, he tried to make an up and under spinning layup. All he had to do was hand it to Titus. Titus' man had jumped past SK for a block shot. We just got to become, and he's not the only one, we got to become a better passing team. But back to the original question, right now defense is our problem that's inexcusable. We're not tough enough on the defensive end. tough enough on the backboard, we're not tough enough on the defensive end, we're not tough enough to get the ball to the open man when teams do whatever they're doing defensively against us. Really anything that involves toughness right now is a big problem for our team. Real big problem. Is that concerning because you felt that was a strength for so long? It's concerning because if you don't if you don't get tough enough to beat the other team, you're not going to win. Period. You just I mean, you get into conference play every game. It's World War Three. Everybody needs a win. People say, "Oh, well, Xavier needed a win tonight, so did we." So we've been down this road before. It's not my first time. We either toughen up meet the challenge and become a team that's good enough to win games, tough enough to get the job done, and we won. But you talk about like, offensive options and this and that, that stuff's all out the window for us. Our problem right now is we're not, we weren't tough enough to handle all the elements. The other team's toughness, the other team's defense, the other team's offense. 
team's making shots, you got to do a better job contesting. We just stand there and let the guy shoot it. It looks like we're surprised. Pretty obvious after a while they were hot. Might want to get a hand up to, and, and make sure he misses. This stuff isn't rocket science, guys. In an alley fight like a game like this, the hungry dog gets the bone. That's just how it is. We need to do a whole lot of soul searching about who, who we are and what, what we're going to be.